afternoon, welcome back to the Coffee Vanners. Don't know how well you're going to hear us. Uh, the weekend started wet, continued wet, and ended wet. Wet. So there is uh, obviously the noise of the rain on the on the caravan. So I don't know how well you'll hear this. We'll have to have a look when we get it back on to editing. Hopefully it will be uh, be usable. So. We've gone off print this weekend. And surprisingly, it's actually worked out all right. It's very good. Uh, we, upgraded, we upgraded the leisure battery, as I, uh, I pointed out in the previous video last week. And it's it's actually surprising that it, we've run the fridge on gas, and we've cooked on gas. Yeah. Uh, and we'll still use the lights as normal. Yeah. We'll still use the TV. Yes, ours is a big TV viewer. So we've not had any real issues. Uh, obviously with the rain, the solar panel's doing virtually nothing. Yes, it has put a little bit into the battery, but really nothing worth talking about. Uh, but it's it's maintained its its charge. It's not been too bad, has it? No, it's kept, it's kept the voltage up. Which, it's, a, it's a bit difficult to, to see just how many volts or how many amps we've been using, uh, especially since the caravan uh, meter gives you an idea, I don't know how well that's calibrated. And then we have on the TV supply, uh, the plug has uh, a little digital display on the top and that's always read 0.2 of an amp more than the display in the caravan. So, and then the solar charge controller has been reading something slightly different again. So we don't know what's what's actually been the true figure. All we do know is... We're getting through the weekend. Oh, we arrived on Friday Fine night. night. Uh, obviously the battery will be fully charged because we're on hookup at home and then connected to the car all the way there. So we're on, we're on hookup uh, when we left. We got there with a full battery and we've used the lights and TV as normal on Friday night. It dropped down to about 12.7-ish volts on Saturday morning. And uh, shot back up. And that was, um, we went out for the day. Uh, we've been away with uh, two friends, with Craig and John. Uh, so, we'd, so we had a bit of a wander around one of the local caravan dealers. Brilliant. Um, and got some stuff for our main holiday because we're going fully serviced on that one. And we've come back to the caravan and the battery is showing fully charged again on, on Saturday. And it wasn't, there was no sun. Virtually no sun at all. In fact, there was, was overcast. And there was thunderstorms in the afternoon. You know, and then, uh, and, we, and it sort of dried up a bit. We had, so we had maybe six hours of no rain but it was, that was from like seven o'clock at night till two o'clock in the morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then the lightning and thunder started again. So it's, it's rained overnight. Uh, and obviously we're still using the, the lights in the caravan. Uh, even managed to leave the awning light on over, oh, nice. overnight. Uh, so, but when we got up this morning, uh, which is Sunday morning, uh, the, the sun had actually come out for a few hours, uh, long enough for us to uh, get sorted out, get off the site and get home. And we'd literally have been back on the drive about half an hour and the rain's come again. And it's been relentless ever since. Thunder, lightning, looking awful, hasn't it? Yes, but off grid, we find that it's good, isn't it? The only thing is, I haven't got a hair dryer. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to look at the hair drying issue since yeah. it's such a problem for you. Yeah. Uh, but, other, but other than that, we, we can't really complain. We, oh, we, we thought it was going to be uh, a know. lot more problematic than it has actually been. Uh, I don't think we'd probably go for longer than maybe four days off-grid, uh, purely because of the convenience of having electric hook-up and mm -hmm. uh, and having facilities on site. Well, this weekend, it's quite 
It's not those back, baby. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think for, for because we were, we had some real reservations because Ollie is a, a big electricity user, you know, we have the house built to prove it. Uh, but the, the, the thought of being away for, for that length of time with phones, with needing to charge stuff and, no, and you need No, we problem with the hair dryer. Well, uh, w yeah, we've not had any real, any appliances that pull a lot, do we? No. So that's, no. Been, that's been a big advantage. Uh, but but yeah, so uh, for us it's been it's been all right, and we now know we can we can start looking at these CL sites uh, that will you know uh, basically just a a mown a mowed field uh, that we can we, we can go out of the way uh, and and go for, just have a couple of days break, get away from the house and the sort of normal environment and it's and have a. Have a break. It's been fun being off grid for that, The thing is, I were off grid, I was all pounds and off this caravan. So we can move them from the front of the caravan. Yeah, that's a where the sun is. That's a good thing and a bad thing, but this weekend it wouldn't have made any difference because we've had no, no, no sun anywhere, so it's not been no. it, it's not been as though anything we'd have done would have made any difference to just using the battery I suppose. But the weight is a solar panel, so I went to put it away today. It's quite heavy, so if you put it on your roof, you're losing a lot of weight. Yeah, I think that's, a, yeah, definitely. It weighs about 10 kilos, I think, 10 or 15 kilos, which is a, a canny weight if you've got it on the roof of the caravan. Then that obviously comes off your payload. So the fact that we've got it as a portable and it's in the boot of the car means we we haven't had to think about how we pack the caravan or what we do with the caravan we've just carried on as normal haven't we so so yeah it's been a it's been a good experience and and obviously for us it's something we can carry on doing and hopefully we'll get our money back that we've spent on the, <coughs> on the installation to start off with um, so that's that's really about it for this uh, for this week not great <coughs> Uh, we've not really done anything when we've been out and about. I go out and get the drone up, and I'll I'll drop in a few bits of the uh, of the site we've been on and the area we've been in North Yorkshire. Uh, it looked nice. It was it was a really nice area. The sun had been out. It'd been glorious, wouldn't it? There's some really nice walks, but obviously we couldn't, because of the weather, couldn't uh, do we couldn't go anywhere or, to, or really see anything. Because uh, we we had took a drive on Saturday morning. Uh, to a like a, a ruined abbey uh but you know we, we got to the car park the rain came down heavy and it's like it's you know it's, it's, it's not really not really a day for walking around outside just getting soaked so it's been a from, from that perspective it's been a proper caravan weekend hasn't it rain, because rain of, off. because rain stopped play yeah right so if you're thinking of going off grid we can sort of say look don't be don't be overly concerned because it, there's there's no need to be, is there? No. no. I was really concerned when we were going off the grid. I thought it wouldn't work. Yeah. But it's proved the point to my for us this weekend. I think we've got the advantage though that the caravan, with it being new, all the lights are LEDs, uh, every just about everything can be run. We haven't had Use for microwave, and we haven't had your hairdryer. But other than that, but we've our, had the TV on. The yeah, our six volt. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. But that hasn't that hasn't. So our experience hasn't really changed. We've carry, kind of been able to carry on as normal and how we wanted to. So that's yeah. been that's been good from that point of view, hasn't but it? I got away with our hairdryer. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So there we are. Right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, th that's just a quick update on what you know where we are. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. You take care. Stay safe. Ta-da. Press and subscribe. Thank you.